Yeah. Oh yeah, I was doing something. <laughs> like during uh during Super Bowl, I had a half of one of her gummies. I don't know that it was this strong. But um I had a drink in my hand and I was passing it to her and it stopped right here. <laughs> and I just stood there and stared at the TV. <laughs> All I know is oh. I did one of the, uh, uh, they gave me the big gummy, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, fuck it, and I ate it, and I was like, holy shit. You know what would have been great? Cade. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid, what, no idea. what would have been great was if we stopped <laughs> watching football and started watching, like, Heavy metal. That would be fucking great. Shut your dirty horn mouth. Those commercials were amazing. <laughs> they they weren't. They they weren't. That's just it. They were great. I don't remember them, but they were great. Right. As long as there's no more what was that? I must go fight in the arena of the Lochnar. And then you can see my daughter's great boobage. <laughs> Okay, so, so we're going through the door. So, to the east, you see that there is these double doors coated in gold with a gold-plated bar barring them. And you yeeted the bar off. So now they are unlocked. I'm going to check the door for traps. All right. I'm going to shoot As she sticks her fingers through. Six. Nothing. Just a little bit more. What? Six. No traps, right? Cool. Yes. Opening they, the door. They appear to be completely awesome to you. These are golden doors, guys. Let's do this. And I open it up like we're walking into like an arena where we're the superstars. Yeah. Make a, a dexterity saving throw. That felt right. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, before you open those doors, so obviously he's in the front. Who's behind him? I'm right behind him. Man, I gotta get used to not being the tank anymore. <laughs> Taking requests. So you pop those doors open. Just press on. Uh, Thirteen. Okay. Which way? Inward or outward? I think it's they, the or is it inward? They they open inwards yeah. towards the room. There you go. If you look at it, you can actually see the hinges on one side. Oh see. yeah, you can. So you can't see the hinges that it's on the other side. Okay. So <laughs> that's it if you look. So who is behind David? Me. It's so weird not being a tank, right? Well. Huh? So, you fire, and then kind of a jumble. Especially my guy. Alright, I need to pull a sword out of the caddy. Ugh. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do, okay. Just like my Heineken golf bag. It's just full of swords. <laughs> Twenty-seven points of lightning damage <laughs> when you open the door. A lightning bolt comes out and hits you and Pyre. Two? Twenty-seven? Twenty-seven. Fuck. I'm at four hit points. Now, I will allow both of you to make dexterity saving throws. You could take half of that. Fifteen. You will take sixteen points, and, or I'm sorry, thirteen points. I take twenty-seven. And you take twenty-seven. Oh. You get a new hairdo, <laughs> and that's how that happened. Hey, the same thing happened to my dad. <laughs> really? Have you not read? How far in the drizzlers are you? 
Uh, have you gotten? Oh, I, I've read them all, but it's been a while. Okay. Yeah, no, um, I think this was actually explained in the most recent three where uh, it talks more the about The last that. time that I saw uh, Jarl Axel in the novels is that he had basically said fuck all of you and him and the um Magira okay. fell off the edge yeah, yeah, yeah. and everybody thought they were all dead yeah so the last three books that came out except for the one that came out last week um talks about more of uh Jarl Axel's experience with Zachary like before everything and it explains how come because uh, Jarl Axel used to have like long glorious hair that he was like super proud of and his head caught fire and as it was healing he was casting spells to make it so his hair came back and his head caught fire again <laughs> <laughs> and so he just gave up on well, it well <laughs> he always wore the big floppy hat yeah. which was a hat of disguise yeah which is why he always wears it yeah. now it's just because it was like yeah, okay, I'm cracking the healing potion. Alright. Yeah. Oh, so, do you, do you? She makes healing potions. So, she's yeah, yeah. so you're so, giving healing potions to them? Yeah. Plus two. So, eight points of healing. Yay, double digits. I like how he didn't fucking go down. Hold on! Grabs his mouth, just stuffs a fucking bottle in his mouth. Yes. Okay. Definitely not as close to death. So you open these doors, these golden doors, Did you and there cast is. Channel Divinity has preserved life, which would give me 15 hit points. She gave you. I gave her six. Gave him six. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Okay. Say say save your Channel Divinity. She <laughs> has Channel Divinity too. But mine's turned the undead. It's not all, healing. All clerics get turn the undead yeah, as part of their I Channel Undead. I know, but I don't have. Yours being uh, light is different than her. What is yours? She's light. Fine life domain. Sorry, so life. light versus life domain, you get different abilities. Right. My point is, save your channel divinity. She just gave you potions. Yeah, I'm like, heal me when I go down. Okay. Just <laughs> well, I don't have any more potions on me. I just cracked the last two, so... I have a potion, but it's But you can make more. You have a... You have a... And a long rest. Which you denied me of. Yeah, we'll get there later. I have a way to heal myself, too, so that's fine. Okay. You're cool. Just chill out. You say that. He just lost 27 hit points. <laughs> of my 31. So we're but he got a new hairdo. I mean, come on. Yeah. Dude, isn't that like a fair trade? All right. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got, got my Dralfro going on right now. Drinks more water. No. And his his impotence is cured. Yeah. So, so, can I pray no, to be to heal this pathetic boom. creature? Boom! <laughs> 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 Wait! Guys, I don't know if I can do this again, so. Uh, <laughs> anyone? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It won't go away. <laughs> you open these <laughs> golden doors. It's been four hours. I'm worried. Was the, light, was the lightning blue? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more of a golden color. You oh. open these golden doors, <gasps> and you see a rough-hewn sandstone passage that leads before you. Everybody make a perception check. So sandstone, you say? Yes. Can I choose not to and just be like my guy just walking around in pain? Nat 20. 
like I just stubbed my foot really bad. I just need to curse it off real quick. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking at anything. I'm just curse it off. Fuck you, your <laughs> hair will fall out. God damn it. Look just like that. <laughs> you got a 12 perception. Okay. 19. No, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, He's not looking at <laughs> You're like, ah! so you all see oh, no, this. more like when I smash my finger. <laughs> oh. It is a rough hewn passage, and you can see that there are workers' um, hieroglyphics in the walls as you go forward. But this whole, it's like a cave that ends in the most magnificent treasure hall ever. We can see that far down? Yeah. We just, wait, didn't we just come out of the treasure hall? Right, you are in the treasure hall. Oh, so we're reverse running this dungeon. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you can see in the passages there are hieroglyphics Car quickly carved into the walls of like fuck my boss <laughs> and you know so like graffiti essentially yes no. so uh, anybody who's ever seen uh, or ever uh, looked at like ancient Egyptian there are all of these hieroglyphics of the workers that are literally like Fuck the pharaoh. Fuck my boss. Essentially. Okay. All the way in to the massive... Uh, what you guys fell into was like... King Tutankhamun's uh, treasure burial. And that's it. And you see a passage that leads off from here. Go along. You need to check our I want to check Jewish. out that treasure. That's where we just first came to the treasure. What did we find? We found like, a passageway that like, leads to the treasure that we just Oh, 5,500 gold? We started, okay, yeah. we started at the end. That's 6,000 gold? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 6,000 gold. We're, we're seeing, so should I do a survival check? Sure. 17. Okay. So you follow these passages and it goes around and there is a passage that leads to the south. And you see a path to correct. So North is always up. Mm -hmm. always. Right here the north, north is always towards. West is always south. left. North is always to Luke. No, north changes depending on where you're sitting. <laughs> Perfect. This won't be confusing. I'll still be in the front. I'll still be right behind them. As long as we don't no, have to stand up to butt, we're good, David. And you see that there is a passage that hangs to the left. Yeah, the east. <laughs> or you can continue for going an hour. on. Hangs to the left. No. <laughs> what would you guys like pace. to do? You're still not been in here long enough no, to do a long rest. Yeah. But I'm exhausted. Time is no difference. We need to be exhausted. Naps are still not sure. Well, this way, you know, that is a thing. But well, you can't see that I just meant around the corner. Ten the feet corner. in any dimension. Right. Right. Oh, wait. So, what about dark vision? 
20 foot radius in dim light for an additional 20 feet. So it's 20 feet of light, 20 yes. feet beyond that of dim light? No larger than 10 feet oh, in God. any dimension until, oh, that's where I can cast it. But it's on my thing, so. The object sheds bright light in a 20 foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. <laughs> so you can see dimly for 40 feet. Yeah. Is, is, is that this an actual fire that's game? like producing light? You can the see wall? at the end of that chamber there is a very dim light. Okay. So we just see a light source at the end of the hallway. So I guess we should head towards the light. Go fuck up whoever's campfire that is. Take it. Well, it could be outside. Oh. It could be outside. Oh, yeah, that could be a way out. Yeah, check it out. Okay, so we're continuing south. Okay. Followed everybody. You reach it. You reach this area, and you see that there is a camp here. I smashed it. Oh, and it's detached. So you reach this, this. It didn't hurt him that bad. You go to the end and you. I was walking around. You and reach this creating area that has been set up as a camp. You see some low-level uh, campfire, like it is just embers. Ooh. Somebody else was here, guys. Right. <laughs> Noobs. Not that long. Everybody make a perception check. Yeah. Oh, I did so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 18. 11. Who's this in? Three. Six. Next. So you got an 18? She's a solid one. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Bring it on home. She comes in and she flips over like a a, a bedroll. Bedroll. She flips over the cover. All of them are filled with decaying corpses. Ooh. Can I investigate the bodies or <coughs> death or something? Sure, make a medicine check. I'm gonna help with that and I'm gonna be like the mummies kill them. Maybe. Can I do healing work? <laughs> there pass healing work. She still wants to do it. Can she do it anyway? <laughs> Let's just Can see I what happens. Keep them from turning on <gasps> Use their ashes to put out the fire. What did you get for your medicine? So, you're not able to determine what all of them died of, but one of them has their hand laid out and it's pointing towards here. I like think he really wants us to look over there. Well, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it has oh. been, no, no, no. it's like it curled into this hand and it's like mummified. They're not complete skeletons. They are covered in skin and this one hand corpses. is like pointing. Corpses, corpses. Nothing in his hand? Corpses. Nothing in the other hand. Do I see this? Does she tell me about this? Yeah, tell you, hey, come here, look at this particular corpse. He's kind of, he's in a weird position, he's kind of pointing, he's like stuck, he's like mummified pointing. Very terrible. Okay, I got 
Okay, so it is now doused in furry light. Mm -hmm. Outlined in a blue green, violet, blah. Okay. Any creature in the area is outlined in light. Nope. Just the whole area is now oh, we can see. light. Everybody make a perception check. So if it's something invisible, it's now visible. Or at least outlined. What, what check? What check are we doing? Perception. Twenty-two. Four. Eight. <laughs> what happened? All these eighteens and now I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> you hear a cascading waterfall from this area. So should we go that way? I'm going to no, stop and go that I hear, way. I hear a waterfall in the distance, kind of in the direction that the dead body's pointing. Yeah, I'll check it out. I mean, uh, still. Yeah? I mean, I draw my hood. It's not invisible. Yeah? So quietly. Can I stealth as well? Move David's character in there. Uh, in, in the room all the way? Uh huh. Can I stealth? Yeah. Or make the attempt. You're going to love this. So you guys stealth into the room. We can move a little bit. And you see that there is a waterfall coming down, and you see that there is a statue of this woman holding a basin, and it's crooked, so the water is going into the basin and coming out. At the base of the the statue are six potions. And across the edge of the basin, it says, drink for me, take for me. Can we investigate the statue without? Sure. So I'm going to use my persuasion. Make a religion check. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to persuade you that you can't see me, so <laughs> I am invisible. I got nine. You're like, I don't know who this is. Bella, can you tell who she is? I'll, <laughs> I'll go take the gander. See if I know who she is. Seventeen. Yeah. You realize that this is a um, a drow shrine okay. of waterfalls and water and it is uh, she is a lesser goddess of transformation oh shit can I check out the bottles to see what they are Run to the Make an arcana check. <gasps> you can test it. Dirty 20. Huh? Your alchemy test. Uh, <laughs> so on dirty 20, you're able to, you you got a pop vial, lay it, you know, like, these are six vials of lesser restoration. And it says, 
drink for me, take for me. Okay, so I hand everyone a bottle. And I am going to persuade you to drink the water that is coming out of the bucket. So, are you drinking the water that's coming down or drinking the water that's coming out of the basin? Out of the basin. Persuading you to do it, I rolled 18 plus 6. <laughs> so 24. So you can roll insight, <laughs> or you can just say, no, fuck you. I'm going to roll an insight. 19. Insight. Mm. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Take my head off. Stick <laughs> your face all the way up. I can do it. Yeah. Before you do that. I can something. create or destroy water. <laughs> I'd like to ask for the gods' favor, please. Hey, you do what you do. Okay, wait. Are, are you serious? Before yep. someone drinks, do it. I'll, he, I'll he open drink. a bottle of Lesser Restoration and get it ready. I don't think it's going to save him. Yeah, well, here we go. Okay, drink. He goes over to the basin, drinks the water, and he goes, uh, uh, and turns to dust. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a four. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to unstealth and say, he took from her. <laughs> I'm sorry, David. You have to roll a new character. I, I have one already. <laughs> you ass. That's number yeah, five. You guys see <laughs> that? And what like, turned to dust? That's number five. Meanwhile, she's like, "Here's vials." <laughs> I'll kneel at the shrine. Okay. Um, I'd like to light an incense. Make a religion check. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Turn the dust. No. So, you find that this is a, um, Shrine to like Varuk, who water. is um, the half brother of uh, he's the half brother of who's the drow Lolf. Lolf. Yeah, he's half brother of Lolf. Can I? <laughs> this is a. Can I collect Try his to. ashes and put them in a vial? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. With the gold and his shit. <laughs> okay. And and you take his stuff. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I've got some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, his <laughs> dagger. And if only I had Rogar, I could be like, oh, maybe I could bring him back as a zombie. What? What? What can I <laughs> know about him? Uh, it's a job guy, so there's only one good job guy. Okay, well, I would like to leave a <laughs> ruby Drink at the base the of the statue as an offering and just it's ask for his favor and apologize for Jax's behavior. And, you know, he got what came to him turning to dust. What kind of weapons do you have? Uh, he sprinkles ashes into the restoration and shake it up. And I have... And I make you drink it. I cut my hand. Do you come back as a... I have... 
and then I squeeze okay. some of blood into I have the, the plus bottom one great of his ashes. You're such a dick. Uh, so I've got the light crossbow, um, oh, and a mace, and a shield. <laughs> That's great. I drink it. For the next nine days, you're, uh, because you have been so holy, your club becomes a giant slayer. What? For the next nine days. <laughs> Yeah, that is a long time. Giant Slayer! And that... That means you do double damage to all giant types. Sorry, David. It's okay. <laughs> I... I... I saw this and I'm like... Team God Rock damn it. <laughs> you were hoping that your wife would fall for that, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's gonna <laughs> fall for it. I knew it was probably gonna be David. I wasn't drinking that water. Oh, no, no. I got lucky the two times I drank out of it. Well, my character doesn't really work without casting yet, Kurt, so. Uh, you're mm -hmm. doing fine. And that's what I mean, Team Rocket died. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that picture the, uh, the background image there that volcano and a skull carved into it <laughs> volcanoes are usually bad in fantasy games it's true but it was the the lock screen and yeah. a skull carved into the volcano except it was snowy unlike more it was hot so with Jack's now Your hat. turn to dust. I have his ashes. Ashes to ashes. Where would you can remove his mini? Oh, I wasn't uh, expecting <laughs> anybody to do anything about it. I'm just going to use his ashes as some sort of alchemist <laughs> I'm going to cast them on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure this I can trap. You can make a potion of tran uh, transformation turn someone into a dog. Can I? Mm -hmm. Why not? You drop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a 50% chance that they'll become drow, 50% chance that they'll become genasi. <laughs> they'll become what? Genasi because he's half drow. Oh, gotcha. So, what do the rest of you do? Oh, you see shit. him go, Well, don't drink the water. Oh, no, no, I didn't take right. all of his ashes. I only took a vial's worth. All the right. rest of them are, like, wisping around. And the right. Gather <laughs> up the rest of his ashes and uh, make a little hole in the berry bin. Put the ashes in the berry bin. Yeah, I'm going to put this. You pray over it. You know what? Read some drow gods, rants over it, my own goddesses. Once she's done, right I'm going to collect those ashes, and I'm going to sprinkle them in everybody's them. food later. I am burying them. And then I'm going to ask... You have to dig them back up. How does it feel? <laughs> you have to dig them back up. Oh, that's the fine. You have to separate them from the dirt. Oh no, they'll be dirt too. So your food will have a you're little burying. taste for a little while. You're burying it. All right. <laughs> I think maybe we right. need to pray over you a little bit. Cast some demons out. I am a demon. So she's praying the over. The demons need to worry about. Jax's uh, core or. Dust. <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? He, he's peeing on it, evidently. <laughs> I am waiting for her to finish doing her thing, and then I'm just going to dig it back up. I'm just going to like examine like these little alcoves in the walls and I'm stuff. I'm going to feed it to everybody scary. later. Go ahead and make a uh, religion check. I'm going to feed it everybody. The ashes. So you check the walls, 
And you see that there are all of these spider-shaped or spider motifed jugs that are full of what feels like sand in all of these partially covered walls. So it looks like they were originally fully covered and now they're like partially covered and now you're looking at them and they're like, oh, well this is a partially covered jug. And there are, there are these little jugs full of sand which looks suspiciously frequent. It looks it looks suspiciously like David. So can I pull them off and like set them on the floor? Yeah. And just go through and like start setting them down so we can all see them and look at them. So you're <laughs> You're able to pull out 17 of these canopic jars that are just full of sand. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys. Look at this shit. What do you think of this? Does everyone say we're trying to pull water? I guess. They I don't know. into jars of sand? I don't know who put them in jars. Spirit of Brook? What? Magical water sand enchantment? Oh, yeah. I flip one over. <laughs> <laughs> you go, clink, and he goes, clink. clink, and the top comes off, and a bunch of sand comes out. You're like, yep, that looks like David. <laughs> <laughs> Do the comparison. Vile, not vile. Yeah. Vile, so, not vile. Make a perception check. Oh. Oh. Eight. Eight. <laughs> you pour the sand out. And it's sand. There's no sand. bones. There's no nothing. This is not like what you would expect from like this is not um, burned body. This is just sand. I don't know if anybody that died is actually in these containers, guys. Should we fill them up with water? No, that sounds like work. I'm afraid we have to go fill them and then come back and put them away. How many of these things are there? Well, nah. I was just thinking, you know, if we fill them with the water, we could feed them to our enemies. Well, you see. You are the one taking the statue, though. So I don't know if it's the act of taking from the statue, or if it's the act of drinking what came from the statue. So I think we should let the water be where the water is, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to throw a jar at the wall. You what? I'm going to throw a jar at the wall. Okay. He throw a jar at the wall and he goes crack and the sand comes down. Can I look at the there's drawings on all the jars? Yes. Can I inspect them to see if any of them are familiar? Then make a uh, religion check. Hey guys, can you get the fuck out of here? You have no idea. Can 
So you detect magic. The shrine seems like it goes out on the walls, like eight arms, and an individual standing in the middle with eight arms coming out, and it looks like it's cackling and laughing at you. See this? Now, uh, only she sees is, it. Is it. Where's the center of it? Where the statue is? Where, where the, the shrine is. Where the shrine is. Is the center of it? The humanoid center? Over the waterfall. And it looks like it's just laughing at you. Is it just human? And it shape? looks like Close. it's male. And it, the, it has arms that are holding it up. And it looks like it's laughing at you. Okay. I have a feeling we should leave. I finally agree with you. I think we should leave. Uh, I think there's an energy here. Maybe a being. Maybe it's magic. And I think it's had its fun. And we should go. We should have our way out of the dungeon. Dead end. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Well, that's good. Okay. All right. Let's get out of folks. Let's get the boot. Keep going. Keep going. Where are we going? Keep going. Keep going. Oh, that's why they turn to dust. They drink the water. Right. Yeah, I said that. Uh. Like, there's no bodies in there. <laughs> That's just sad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's something is connected. <laughs> so, it looks like Dalit is uh, leading the party. So, uh -huh. Dalit, you can make a survival check at advantage. Oh, not 20. Yeah. All right. Which would give me a 23. 20. You guys find a golden door, set of doors. Yeah. They are gold set. Can I inspect them? Yeah. These look heavy. I can, can I, push them over. Can I check for traps? Yeah. Make an investigation check. I mean, I know I'm not. Anybody want to talk to Pepper? Thirteen? Nah, I'm good. What? Hey. All good? All right. Thirteen? You do not detect any traps, but the door seems to be barred from the other side. You do find that there is a thin seam up the door. So these doors are coated in gold and lined in silver, and there is a gap up the door. Can I have scratch off some silver? Can you stick your sword in and go and knock the thing up? Yeah. Later. I want to scratch off some silver <laughs> first. Hang on. Yeah. You can. You're able to scratch off four silver pieces worth of silver. Currency. And now, all right, it's all little take my scimitar, shove it in the, 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 the opening. And shove the door open. All right. Uh, make an athletic check. Yeah, see. Fifteen? Yeah. 
pop comes from this store. He cracks up the door and opens it up, and you smell the the spice that comes out from mummies. The spice of mummies. Well, there is a there is a a, a spice smell of the dead that comes out. Is that similar to candy apple? Doesn't smell like basic it's, bitch. It's, it's kind of like basic <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Let's take a break. <laughs> Seriously, I was we were getting ready for camping, and I'm like, smell like basic bitch. I'm like, what is that smell? I'm like, it's a familiar smell, but it's the wrong smell. <laughs> and I'm like, is that you that smells like pumpkin spice basic bitch? <laughs> and he's like, it's candied apple. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, basic bitch. <laughs> I swear I have an air freshener that smells like that in the fall. 